I hope you are all well today and ready to go ahead with uh, what we have been speaking about last week. And today we are going to kind of update a little bit to just to kind of remind ourselves what we talked about last week. And then um, some feedback from you to, to, to give me uh, some uh, understanding whether this is going the way that you want it or uh, if some, somebody if you, if you have uh, any questions or if you want me to cover certain aspects in the session, you can tell me and any suggestions. So we will just spend like uh, three to five minutes and any needs that you felt that, uh, that we need to consider today. Is that okay? So you can either type, then I'll come to know. Let's update. Do you remember what we talked about last week? You could just put some points. You can type. What did we talk about last week? It could be anything. There's nothing right or wrong about your answers. So you could just type. So shall we? I'm not here. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know whether it is being delayed. So if you could type a couple of things that you took away last week, and then we will be able to continue for today. That's very important because otherwise there was no point in continuing. So if you could type a little bit about what you have kind of noticed or learned last week. Can anyone see if there is anything in the chat or am I not seeing anything? Because I, I can't seem to kind of look at it. Maybe you might be able to see. Maybe Sambhavi, is there is anything in the chat? Hello? Yeah, they are, they are, can't you see the chat? No, it seems like, a, oh, okay, now I can, now I can. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, sorry, because I think there was a, a disconnect kind of from, from here and it is taking a little bit of time for me Fine. to see it. Okay, so thank okay. you. Okay, okay. So you. Okay, so that, that's lovely. Okay. Um, so, okay, so you remember something about BABCP. What do you remember? It's about the ethical guidelines, isn't it? That's really lovely. And uh, emotional intelligence, yes, we, we touched a little bit. And what is CBT, culture and psychology? Um, yeah, that, that's really wonderful to hear. Um, and some information about emo emotional intelligence, communication skills, and introduction to CBT. That, that's really beautiful. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. So what we are going to do today is to kind of, you know, if you have any feedback, you can, you can type that as well. Um, I think I need to keep this chat going on here. Okay, sorry, I just have a little bit of problem today, but I'm not sure what that is. We will figure it out. Um, and uh, so what are the goals and intentions of CBT? Okay, it's really lovely. Any feedback that you think that I need to know that might make the sessions useful for us? Any feedback related to that? Okay, so you are asking about bilingual session. What languages are we talking about?
what language are we talking about? Okay, so could you please tell me if this could be in Tamil and English? That's really lovely because that is one of your needs, I guess. So it's not just feedback, but you are giving me a suggestion, but you are also expressing your needs. So is that mean that last week that you might not have understood the sessions fully because I was only most of the time I was speaking in English. It seems like we have students um, who might need this in Tamil. Is that correct? Could I hear some yes, no? If you could type and let me know your needs because that's what this is about. Okay, yes, of course. Anyone else? Yeah. So there are more than one who, who feel that 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 this this needs to be in Tamil as well. Is that correct? Could I hear more? How many are sitting there and feeling like this needs, to, you know, they didn't understand last week because it was purely in English? Okay. So there are a few yes. The rest of you, you can understand English. Maybe it seems like there are only a couple of people. Is that correct? Okay. Well, so it seems like that um, what we are understanding is that you understand what we did last week and you're giving me some feedback and some suggestions. So when we are going to continue the sessions, we will be doing it in this format. And that's how you will be speaking to your clients as well not now because we agreed you're not going to see any patients offering therapy but certainly when you're seeing them for the second time you will be asking them about any update any feedback any suggestions and did you kind of not hear about their needs or they were too shy to express their needs that um uh, you know that that was maybe lost and that means our communication lost is that correct who agrees with that like sometimes when we don't express our needs, that we really don't to communicate with each other properly because last week we covered communication skills. Okay, so let's see how many agree with this, that when we don't communicate our needs properly, the opposite person will not know and they will not be able to meet your needs. Okay, so you can also put your thumbs up because it's a yes or no question. So you can just, if you be believe this is yes, then go for it. So the next question, do you think you are confident enough to express your needs in the future with me when I am having the sessions? Because these are the things I need to be cleared before I even move on. Do you think that you are able to express your needs with me in the future if there is anything? Okay, so that, that's really lovely to hear from you. Okay, Ninga Enna Vandu Kertadu, Tamil Ila Vandu, Sila Vishyangala Vandu Ngulukku Solla Solli, Tamil Lum, English Lum Kavakku Solli Kertru Kringya. Ennudia Tamil Vandu Periya Good Apri Endu Solla Muriyadu, Anna Anand Vandu Ennudia Best Try Panni Ngulukku Vandu Tamil Ila Vandu Pesuven. If you have a question, you will be able to translate it in your own way. Is that okay for you? Some words, some shortcut. Okay. So I'll say thank you very much because this is the two of the communication. Only you and me. That's why you know the issue of me. You know the issue of me. Okay? So now we're a commitment to make fun for. Okay, thank you so much, Vasuki. And it's really lovely that you, you said that you can help me. And thank you so much, everyone else, Menaka, Elias, and Anu. Um, it's really lovely to hear from you. Nandri, Ningal, Udavi Sehire and Apri and the Sol for the Okay, so now we're in the session of Papu. Where are the other Mulaka 
தேவைகள் இருந்தா நிச்சயமாக நீங்க எனக்கு வந்து தெரிவிக்க வேணும் நீங்கள் தேவைகள் தெரிவிக்காவிட்டால் என்னால் உங்களோடு பேச முடியாது எனக்கு விளங்காது ஓகே குட் சோ லெட்ஸ் மூவ் ஆன் ஓகே சோ அஜெண்டா ஃபார் டுடே வி ஹாவ் கவர்ட் தேட் வி அண்டர்ஸ்ட் உங்களுடைய தேவைகளை வந்து நாங்க விளங்கி கொண்டோம் ஓகே So last week, we were talking about a situation you all have to go out and do five areas. Do you remember? Last week, we said, why don't you do your situation, thoughts, feelings, bodily sensation and behaviors? Kadasi Thadava, Nangal Vandu, Nengal in the Anji areas, five areas and the Solovo situation, Sool Nilai, Unnangal, உணர்வுகள் உடல் அறிகுறிகள் செயல்பாடுகள் உங்களுடைய செயல்பாடுகள் எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படி லாஸ்ட் வீக் வந்து நான் கேட்டிருந்தேன் அதுல ஒரு நாங்க செய்யறதுக்கு தொடங்கி இருந்தோம் நேரம் முடிஞ்சு விட்டபடியா நாங்க வந்து செய்ய முடியவில்லை சோ லாஸ்ட் வீக் யூ ஸ்டார்டட் டு சிச்சுவேஷன் we were trying to understand thoughts feelings bodily sensations and behaviors and you started to do one situation but we didn't fully complete that Do you remember that? It was actually about studying. So what I did was, I kind of made sure that it doesn't become too personal for you. So I made Peter. Do you remember Peter? He's the one who was kind of had issues with depression. So now we made him, I used him to become a medical student. So we can kind of talk about the, the issues that you were actually sharing last week but in a different way. So let's say Peter is a medical student. He had to isolate himself with his family due to lockdown. Now he's coming back to medical school, finding it too stressful to engage with the work and sessions. So that's the scenario. Peter or a party crever, our Kwande, COVID-19 ala, isolate Pandavandi Vandi to the Tanime Partha Patti, our Tanodia, குடும்பத்தாரை பார்க்க போயிருந்தார் திருப்பி அவர் மெடிக்கல் ஸ்கூலுக்கு வந்த பொழுது ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ரிலே காரணமாக அவருக்கு வந்து செஷன்ஸோட கனெக்ட் பண்ண முடியாம போய்விட்டது ஸோ ஹவு ஹி வுட் பி ஃபீலிங் திங்கிங் தட்ஸ் வட் வி வர் லுக்கிங் அட் இட் அண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் த சம் ஆஃப் யூ வெரி ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல்லி சேட் ஐ டோன்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வை தே பிளான் சோ மெனி செஷன்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டூ மச் ஐ கான்ட் கோப் I am overwhelmed this is unfair and there was sense of anxious irritation annoyance bodily sensations we didn't cover that and there were also some issues related to uh, attending the session and pretending to listen discuss his distress with close uh, friends complaining and worrying so nanga vande enakku thoughts vande ennangal ஏன் செஷன்ஸ் பிளான் பண்ணினது விளங்கவில்லை இது வந்து ஏன் என்று விளங்கவில்லை இது டூ மார்ச் என்னால் வந்து இதை செய்ய முடியாது பயம் எரிச்சல் பொடிலி சென்சேஷன் நாங்கள் கவர் பண்ணல உடல் அப்படி உடல் அறிகுறிகள் கவர் பண்ணல பிஹேவியர்ஸ் வந்து செஷன்ஸுக்கு வந்து வர வருகின்றது கேட்கிற மாதிரி நடிக்கிறது ஆனா உண்மையிலேயே கேட்கிற இல்லை ஒரு செஷன்ஸ் ஆகியும் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்றது பிரச்சனைகளை ஆனா க்ளோஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸோட வெளியில இல்லை கம்ப்ளைண்ட் பண்றது மற்றது ஓரி பண்றது நாங்க இதை பார்ப்போமா திருப்பி ஞாபகம் இருக்கா உங்களுக்கு லாஸ்ட் டைம் சோ லுக் நாங்கள் இதை பார்ப்போமா அதாவது லாஸ்ட் டைம் நாங்க வந்து இது ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிட்டு இடையில விட்டுட்டோம் இல்லையா இப்ப இந்த அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் எங்களுக்கு தேவை ப்ராப்பர்லி பிகாஸ் திஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் அஸ் டு கிரியேட் தீஸ் ஃபைவ் ஏரியாஸ் ப்ராப்பர்லி ஓகே ஸோ டு யூ தோஸ் தோஸ் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஸ்டார்ட் டு சப்போர்ட் மீ லாஸ்ட் வீக் யூ கேன் கண்டினியூ டு டைப் அண்ட் லெட் மீ நோ So what was the thought do you think Peter was having? So is that correct to say that? That, that he didn't understand, it was too much for him to cope, he's overwhelmed and he thinks it's unfair. Okay, you can type. 
So what would be the feelings and what would be the bodily sensations is missing? How would he have felt in his body? Seria, you can type and ring Frequent headaches. Thank you so much. I'm going to type it here. Bhavana, I'm going to type as you are telling me because I'm so we can complete this. So frequent. So frequent headaches. Anything else that he might have? because he's going through this difficult time and they, you know, they didn't understand at medical school and they've planned too many sessions and he's kind of going through these feelings. So if you could kind of help me out, what else he would be feeling? Body pain, lethargic, beautiful. Okay, so lethargic. Body pain. Okay. So I, I have put something. Now it is completed, right? Our five areas is now completed because now we can see. I can't understand why uh, they planned with so many sessions. How how does that have an impact here? Feelings, anxious, irritation, annoyance, and that is having an impact on the body. Frequent headaches, lethargic, body pain, and behaviors is attending the session, pretending to listen, discuss his distress with close friends, complaining and worrying. Does that make sense now? It's very important that you understand this. Otherwise, there's no point moving. The whole DSM-5, which is the um, the manual for uh, psychiatric disorders is based on this. Can you believe that? So simple, very, very simple concept. It's all, all the symptoms and all the diagnosis, everything is based on thoughts, feelings, behavior, and bodily sensations. And the whole, the, I'm talking about not just one or two, the whole thing, the whole manual is based on this. So if, you, if we don't get this, there is no point studying further. Because each behaviors are so unique, each thoughts are so unique, each feelings and each bodily sensations are so unique that we need to connect and link and understand. Okay? Let's imagine he is continuing like this, Peter. Is continuing like that. He's not talking to his lecturers. He's not talking to other friends about it. And he stopped studying. And he's getting more anxious and irritation and annoyance. What do you think that will happen in the long run and how he will behave? Here, behave? So you can start typing and I'll share this in Tamil as well. So Peter Ripriya continue Pandra. Our one the lectures, lecturers, teachers, a kavanda, solurarilla. Idudan or Priyana Puru Pechena, Irika Priyan, solurarilla, other one the height pandra. Ipriya Toder in the Aurora owner will hold by um irritation, annoyance, abriend one the Kunde irkde. A Toder in the headaches lay recrear. Nitre lama. Somebody was saying sleeping, lack of sleep. I'm going to put it here. It's a behavior again. Sleep lama worry pani konda apdiye thodar ande poy konrikida. Our life or uh, or one month like a medical student. Ipdi nadakde. Enna nadakum in the in the cycle ke. Bore enna vishengali dilav varalam. So if you are happy, please start typing to let me. Okay. So he becomes. Menaka was saying he will become more depressed. If he becomes depressed, what would he his thought process will be? Okay, Ungalodio oral bandining a soluringa, our Indian depression on the door, a pre and soli. A pre our depressed tavanda. After a number of pretty ricum. Either one the stress ilia, the stress related and nungal, and nala idivande, copanella, the 
இது வந்து டூ மச் ஆ இருக்கு இரிட்டேஷன் எரிச்சல் எல்லாம் வந்திருக்குது அதுல டிப்ரெஷன் இல்ல ஐ டிட் புட் டிப்ரெஷன் தயா ஆனா அவர் டிப்ரெஷன் ஆனா அவரு தோட்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கு ஓகே தோட்ஸ் ரேஷனலா இருக்கும் ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் சொல்லுங்க பாப்போம் மேனக்கா அல்லாட்டி யாராவது நீங்க சொல்லுங்க மயூரி ஓ யார் என்றாலும் சொல்லுங்க ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒரு ஒரு டிப்ரெஷன் சொன்னா தோட்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் அவருக்கு இந்த மெடிக்கல் ஸ்கூல விட்டுட்டு போகலாம் அப்படி யோசிக்கலாம் இல்லையா ஐ பெட்டர் ட்ராப் அவுட் ஐ டோன்ட் கண்டினியூ ஹியர் ஐ ஃபீல் லைக் அ ஃபெயிலியர் நான் ஃபெயில் பண்ணிட்டேன் என்னால வந்து இது செய்ய முடியாது மேபி ஐ எம் அயர் அப்படி அவங்க யோசிக்க தொடங்கலாம் இல்லையா பிகாஸ் அவர் வந்து லெக்சர்ஸ் ஒண்டுமே அட்டன் பண்றாரு தோட்ஸ் வந்து ஐ எம் அ ஃபெயிலியர் If he gets frustrated about his inability to cope with his studies, he might take anger, frustration out on others, lash out. Well done, Bhavana. Yes, that is true. So it can go into an aggressive kind of cycle as well. He might snap. He might get angry. He might do that as well. Rigid thinking. Very good, um, Ms. Fira. And that, that is true. All these are very rigid thinking, actually. So... Uh, so let's look at depressive one then so if he gets depressed he will kind of say i am a failure what's the point of doing this course um so getting more depressed body sensation more fatigue lethargic things like that behaviors would be when we get depressed what do we do and the same one nanga vande mana aluthathile avoidant behavior they will have loss of interest in any uh, previously interesting activities yeah well done so they will lose all the interest and uh, in the previous activities will they isolate themselves more who who was yes. speaking to you like safwan safwan yeah safwan so they will isolate themselves more right yes they will isolate let, themselves more okay so let's continue safwan would you help me out let's complete the cycle so let's imagine that they isolate themselves more what would go through their mind when they started to isolate themselves more what's the point in living because they stopped all the activity. Yeah, negative attitude yeah negative attitude is increasing and then they might kind of go into suicidal thoughts and suicidal ideation because one of the important component of depression is suicidal ideation isn't it so what's the point of living i am a failure i don't want to be here anymore if i go home my parents will condemn me and people think i am a failure because i didn't study well so more depression more bodily sensations like that and the behavior is maybe harming self harming what else could happen when people go through depression Uh, they might do um try substance abuse in certain yes. instances for their pain yes so what they could do is substance abuse so i'm going to kind of say it in tamil so avargalukku adhiga mana alutham vandu koodi koodichidendu apdi en sonna safan was enak udavi seidar adhaadu vandu innum avanga depressed aayna adukku suicidal ideation varalam irundhu priyosanam illai endu appa adha cope pandradhukaga adha manage pandradhukaga substance abuse it could be drugs or alcohol adhu avangal vandu edukka thodanga chance irukku illaya vera enna maadhiri avanga vandu cope panna yosippaanga thangala harm pandradhukku try panna chance irukku okay that is depression so bhavana coming back to you can you help me out here you were talking about he will get frustrated and then he will get angry and take it out on others and lash out can you help me out with that bhavana yes so what okay so very good are you going to speak in tamil or english it's good to have both language all right i'll try both then okay and and are you so what what so you bhavana you are a psychology student or medical student um i'm a student medical student yeah okay so you can it's up to you whatever language that's most comfortable for you so okay. what do you think that will go through a mind of a person who is angry um 
he might feel left out and uh, he might, um, I don't know how to say, like, he might think that others are avoiding him because he, he can't understand anything or he's not, um, he's not uh, up to par with them on his studies and, he, you know, mm -hmm. he might think like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and you rejection, said I suppose. Rejection yeah. from others. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, what is making him angry? Is it because he feels he is rejected from others? Um, that and um, I thought that it, maybe because he's not able to cope with his study. So he feels that frustration. And he yes. might think that others are doing better than him. And he might think that... Um, even though they are not uh, rejecting him or even that they're, they're not uh, neglecting him or anything, he might feel that he's being, um, I don't know, marginated or something. I mean, exactly. he might feel that whether yeah, it's happening and, or not. Yeah, and that is really good. Good observation, isn't it? It's not what he is kind of, what is happening exactly, but he might end up feeling that um, others are kind of neglecting me. I'm feeling marginalized here. Uh, I'm, so that can cause some form of anger. And this is unfair kind of feeling or thought will cause anger, isn't it? And he might, behaviors might lash out that he might kind of shout at other people, alienating others more, isn't it? Pushing other people away because he's thinking like that, Bhavana. Excellent for sharing this. So when he push out people more here, let's look at the, 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 the behaviors bit. What do you think that will happen? So we are kind of looking at here. So he's isolating himself and also he's lashing out. He's not a pleasant person anymore to talk to. So what will happen? What, how would his thoughts be? He's lashing out and fighting with other people now. No one never understands him. Yeah, yeah. Nobody understands me and I'm alone. And then that can lead into a depression circle as well. So it's not one thing. Stress can lead to anger. It can lead to depression. It can lead to different, different things. We don't know. It's about how that person is interpreting the situation and how he is coping. And then the more that he's thinking like the medical students or the psychology students are not good enough for me because they are, they are rejecting me. There is a possibility he might go to outside and again, try to cope with drinking, alcohol intake, things like that, isn't it? So that can also lead to that kind of coping behavior. Is that correct? And could I ask something? Is this something normal that happens in a medical school or a psychology kind of a school? I mean, it doesn't have to be in Jaffna, but I'm asking, is it, is it something that happens? It's good to know if, if that happens. That, that's the only reason I'm asking. Anyone want to say anything or you can even type? Is this something that happens? In, it doesn't have to be in Jaffna, but it could be anywhere. Do you think this is something yes, that it happens? happens? It happens, yeah, it happens. Oh, it's good to, good to notice, isn't it? Because when we are kind of studying that these things are happen, then we can do something about the behaviors because we are more knowledgeable. We understand ourselves, but we also try to understand other people. So maybe Bhavana or Safwan would say to someone who is behaving like that, look, you know, we are trying to be friendly. How we can support you? You know, you are still our friend or something like that. But if they make it too nasty for you, then obviously you would think, I don't want to speak to this person. These people are, you know, quite nasty. So, but it's really good to get hold of this. And, and if you have any understanding, that means, you know, we can give that support to them. Let's look at this. Uh, so wait, um, I'm going to do this now. What are feelings? How do we access them? What are, what are feelings? You're seeing feelings and I know what are they a pretty nanga bandhi access under the a pretty and the papo. Okay, yeah, rather than you look at type and every pamana type and us share panda with a pamana share panda. I'll keep the chat open. Okay. Shall we look at it then since you are being silent? Nobody's sharing anything.
Can you share anything about how, what are feelings and how do we access them? Psychology students, I think the medical students are speaking. So can I invite some psychology students? Some psychology students, you can talk about it in Tamil. You can talk about it in Tamil. Yes, Dr. Sandhya. No? No response from psychology students? You can type it in the comments. No. Okay. So, Unarva Hell Apri and Sona in Apri and Nanga Papu, Unarva Hell Vandin and Nadaka and Papu. I would really like to hear from one psychology student because it is not a degree, it is not a degree. So, just there is nothing right or wrong about this. Again, you all are right whatever you are saying it's never going to be wrong because this is about your feelings and how we access feelings how do we access feelings and how do we how do we know that these have we have feeling how do we notice them Type Pandanga. Now, Pesra the Kirkada. Oh, Miss Inglade, Inangal Vanda Vilipadra, the Vandana, owner of Hala Kardalantana. Okay, yeah, Serious and Inga Yar Pesra the Subul Gopika. Gopika. Gopika, that's really lovely. So, Ungade and Nangal Vanduna Muhalaka Valipadi. Ungada Udaru Halanganga on the field for no, Mangada Udalila field for no, Milia. A pa other lapetic on your papo. So well done, Gopika. Nandri reading of the shape and in the okay. So, feelings we all experience emotions. Emotions are an important part of human beings. Ilia emotions illati, Angalala vandu, ondun sayamudiyadu. Emotions vandangala guide pannadu. Emotion tells us certain things. Emotion guide us. And feelings are essential to our survival. So, unar chihal vandu. Very important for our survival. If we don't feel pain, if we don't feel anything, that you know, we, we might as well die. Sometimes people don't feel any pain and they might get burnt. And and you know, then they might die. So good feelings or bad feelings, both are extremely important for our survival, for everything in our everyday life. When we when you eat food, if you think, ah, I don't like it, and you might not continue to eat it. And Certainly, this type of sense and feelings were created within us to keep us alive. As humans, we are designed to feel the whole range of emotions. And this may be comfortable for us, and other feelings might be uncomfortable for us. The comfortable and sana sariya Tamil periyele. But I think it's something about um feeling I lost it there. Somebody help me out. What is comfortable in Tamil? Sauheriyam. Sauheriyam. So, sila unar chihal vandu sauheriyam aherikum. Sila unar chihal vandu, is it a sauheriyam aherikum? Uncomfortable, right? Okay. So, what I'm going to learn is I'm going to learn to speak proper Tamil. Dinga vandu, the psychology student, you have to teach me these things. So I tried my best to use Google uh, to do this, but the thing is like there was a possibility that Google might not do the same thing. So it's the same thing what I put there, I put it in Tamil. So now manavaro unachihalai anavabikrom. Manadar halahi naam mulu alavinana unachihalai unar vadi mai vaikka patrulo. Okay, so you can read panangaida vande. Okay, raised hand. Okay, so moon to pair raise hand and read ring la. I rather solo virum ring la. Thank you and sol ring la. Okay, so let's move on. 
So what we are going to look at is what is distress uh, intolerance? So we talked about feelings, good feelings, bad feelings, comfortable feelings, uncomfortable feelings, saharian feelings, uh, sorry, marambitan, saharian, saharian ana unarvahar, saharian ana unarvahar, agavandu, so distress intolerance is perceived as inability to fully experience unpleasant, aversive, comfortable feelings. Uncomfortable feelings. Distress intolerance. Thunbam sahi pinmai, something like that. That's why we feel customer. Silaberk on the Kastapawanga, Kudala. Silaber on the okay. Ang on the Tunbatayim, Ang on the experience Panwanga. So this is accompanied by desperate need to escape uncomfortable emotions. Peter Vandi, he tried to escape uncomfortable emotions, that is anger, depression, and then that's where Savan was telling us maybe he will go to substance abuse, maybe he will drink, maybe he because he is unable to cope with these things. Right? So difficulties tolerating distress are often linked to a fear of experiencing negative emotion. So one thing is that human beings are in the same way. There are two feelings. There are two feelings. We are in the same way. We are in the same way. We are in the same way. Manga manis manidera irkranangal, um, Angalakan the custom irk, Ilia, Silla, Silla, and the feelings. So let's look at it. Idila Tamilla and the portrake, Tunba Sahip in main bagan artham, Virumbataha, the workataka, Sangadamana, Unarchihale, Mulumeaha and Abuikamuriade, Adlero Avanam became a Angala Sahit the Kulamuriade, Unarvagle. So we find it very difficult to tolerate emotions and some people are not so good at it do you know why some people are good and some people are not good at it what could that the, what could be the reason that some of us are not uh, good at tolerating emotions others are okay would you know why shall we think about it a little bit so it depends on how they deal with their problems how they cope with it mainly actually yeah, how they cope with it having an importance. But why do we think that some people are capable and some people are not? What's the reason that some people are able to kind of cope with it? You know, they, they have that ability, some they don't. What could be the reasons? Um, it could be on the main... Uh... Uh, initially their thought process on how they perceive everything yeah that is true that is true they, so that's really they good they could view uh, it at a neg negative aspect or they could uh, look at it in a positive uh, outlook as well yeah well done thank you so much Safan for sharing that so anyone else have any opinions around that their mm -hmm. way of cognition the, the way of cognitions, yeah, that's really good. So they are the way they think and feel. Um, okay, anyone else? The environment they grew up in and uh, what they are, they are used to seeing and used to dealing with. That's really, really good, Bhavana. Spot on. Actually, you mentioned environment. So anything else that could have an impact on the way that we feel, react, and things like that? So one is environmental factor. What could be the other factor? Development, uh, the, the development of trauma, if they had anything like that. Yeah, That's developmental good. trauma. That is all environment, isn't it? Yeah. So you have covered it in the environment. Mm -hmm. Anything else that could be part of that? What's the obvious the other one? So one is environment. What's the other that has influence on us? heredity yeah so it's the nature versus nurture isn't it 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 is the genetics uh, and also how we are kind of 
um, you know, our family history, we ask about it, especially when it comes to diabetes or anxiety disorders or depressive disorders, whatever disorder, we ask, do you have that? Do you have it? Do you have that in your family? And that is, that tells us it's also genetics play a part and also the environment play a part. So if we have an, if we have someone who is so prone to an anxiety, Let's say that syllabaric vandu payam avangal kadhihamai irukum avangal family le apdi endu sonna and the environment la vandu endu vida payam illama avanga valandu sandoshama vandaangal endu sonna prachane illa okay it's a it's an ideal kind of world i am talking about let's say that if they had some genetic issues however what they are growing up is so fine because you know, the parents are very kind and caring. The school system is lovely. The medical school is wonderful and all the lecturers are like kind and they are very supportive. So the person, although anxiety is there and they don't, they don't actually get to go into anxiety disorders or anything. They don't develop anything because environment have been good for them regardless. But let's share somebody has that propensity and then what happens is they are putting in an environment where the parents are maybe at home they are arguing and the parents are not really taking care of their children properly and at school uh, the teachers are hitting them using a stick which happens isn't it in sri lanka but now they stopped i think and then obviously the anxiety grows and they will lack confidence they will not be able to speak back they will not be able to so they will be quiet withdrawn and anxiety will be there for the rest of their life and they would be struggling with their career they will be struggling with their communication skills and things like that is that correct to say that and culture could play a part as well right so environment we are also including culture there okay so let's move on and try to understand what is fight or flight that's another thing do you know what fight or flight is so this is what we are talking about in terms of fight or flight. Do you see the fight or flight response? Do you know what that is? Who knows what is fight or flight is? Psychology students, I'm picking on you. <laughs> Come and explain to us what is fight or flight because you would know. What is fight or flight? Uh, miss yes uh, flight and solradu vande uh, thappikirathu adavadhu oru prachana vanduchu endu sonna adha vittittu naanga poradhu adha gavanikkama adha vittu poradhu okay fight and solradhu adha vande naanga edirthu poraadradhu adukku edra enna saval vandhalum adukku etta maari naanga poraadi adha win pandradha fight okay very good thank you unga per enna sugandhini Sugandhini, Meera and Kupringa. Okay. Miss Apri and Nandalam Thevaila, Meera. Okay, that's my name. Okay, so thank you so much, Sugandhini, for this explanation. Let's look at what fight or flight is, and I'll explain it to you in English, and then we will do it in Tamil. Okay, the fight or flight involves what brain part? It's the brain part called amygdala. This part of the brain is also in animals. So that's the brain that is kind of help us to survive say for an example usually if there is a snake in front of you what will happen to you and it is a poisonous snake well thank god i wouldn't have it here but you might have it in sri lanka it just you know pop in and say hello to you and then what will happen and let's say it is a really poisonous snake that is in front of you and ready to bite you which part of the brain will help you out here? Because your body is an organism. It helped, it is helping you, isn't it? So which part of the brain that, that is kind of going to help you here? Would you know? I just mentioned it. Is anyone knows about the brain part called amygdala? I'm happy to talk about it, but if, if you know, I would really like to hear it from you. Would you know? Would anyone know? No? Okay, so let me talk about it in English first. Amygdala is the part of the brain, which is like the fire alarm. 
do you know what a fire alarm is? Like when in the household, we have a fire alarm installed. So for an example, when we, we have a fire, it goes off and it, you know, it gives us big sound. And then what we can do is we can call the fabricate and they can come and put off the fire and we are safe. The whole house is not burnt. Okay, so that's the repurpose of the fire alarm. Likewise, we have an alarm within us. When we are in danger, it goes off. And that's the part is the amygdala. It goes off like that. So if you have a snake in front of you, that part will kind of become highly alert. It's the emotional brain. And what it does is it will get you to kind of run away from the danger or you will get a stick or something and try you will try to fight the snake so when you are going to do that if there is a snake there and if you are going to do it how do you do that yaravathu sollunga or snake ungalku munnala irukudhu in the fire alarm na ipo explain panna my amygdala that's the part of the brain at go off pannudhu ungalku vandu snake munnala irukku eppadi neenga vandu idha fight pannuveenga alladi eppadi oduveenga plan panniya seivinga would you plan it would you say well there's a snake in front of me what shall i do should i run or should i fight it is this how you do it no no you won't do it like that would you what would you do do you think it's almost like an instinct I mean, we just react like that Exactly. Why do you think that you are reacting like that it is an instinct? Because there is voluntary system in our body and involuntary system. Some of the things react by itself. For an example, we cannot control our heart. We cannot tell the heart and give a direct message and say, can you reduce your heart beat? We cannot do that, right? So when the amygdala goes, it overtakes us. It's almost like overtakes us. So it triggers the adrenaline into the adrenaline, adrenaline cortex. Adrenaline will get released. It signals the heart to pump more blood. Where? Where would, where would the uh, blood will go? Where would the blood go when it signals? That, so all the stress hormones are released. Let's keep it simple. And then that signals the heart to pound more, right? Heart is pounding more, right? Because it's pumping more blood. That's why heart pounds. Because it's pumping more blood to the bloodstream. Where would, the, where would it go? Think rationally. You're going to fight or flight. Where would the blood go? Psychology students, <laughs> I'm picking up on you. Vandu sollam va tamilile. Enga pohum. So amygdala vandu signal pannudhu. Nenga vandu danger irukkile irukkiringa. Monnu koru snake irukkudhu. Angoda adrenaline vandu release pannu padudhu blood stream ila. Heart vandu pump pannudhu more blood. Enga pohum in the blood vandu. யோசிச்சு பாருங்க நீங்க ஒன்று வந்து நீங்க சொல்லிட்டீங்க முதலே ஃபைட் பண்ணணும் இல்லாட்டி தப்பி ஓடணும்னு சொல்லி அப்ப எங்க போகும் என்ன யூஸ் பண்ணி ஃபைட் பண்ணுவோம் கண்ணா கண்ணால ஃபைட் பண்ணலாமா ஐம் வெயிட்டிங் ஃபார் யூ ஆன்சர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ரைட் ஃபார்வர்ட் நீங்க சொல்லுங்க பிள்ளையோ சரியோ இல்ல கோபிகா பரப்பறிவு நிரம்பு தொகுதிகள் மூலம் உடல் உறுப்புகளுக்கு போகும் எந்த உடல் உறுப்புகளுக்கு போகும் கை காலுக்கு போகும் அல்லாட்டி காலால தான் ஓடி தப்புவோம் இல்லையா சோ மேஜர் மசில்ஸுக்கு போகும் சில இடங்களுக்கு போகாது ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டத்துக்கு தேவையா அந்த டைம்ல நாங்க தப்பி ஓடுறோம் ஒரு இடத்துல இருந்து அப்ப டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் வந்து கட் ஆஃப் பண்ணப்படும் சோ விட் தே டோன்ட் நீட் த பிளட் ஃப்ளோ தேர் சோ எங்க எங்க தேவை இல்லையோ அங்க எல்லாம் கட் பண்ணி எங்க எங்க தேவையோ உடல் வந்து தானே நிர்ணகிச்சு அத வந்து அனுப்பும் அந்தந்த இடங்களுக்கு இல்லையா பயம் அப்படி என்று சொன்னா ஃபைட் பண்ணாம அப்படி இருக்கிறதுக்கும் தப்பி ஓடுறதுக்கும் 
வந்திருக்கும் சோ விளங்குதா உங்களுக்கு டி யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் த ஃபைட் ஆஃப் லைட் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் ஓகே சோ அப்படி நடக்கேக்குல என்ன நடக்கும் டயலேஷன் ஆஃப் பீப்பிள் ட்ரை மேத் ஃபாஸ்ட் பிரீதிங் kind of breathing hard pounding because pumping blood tense muscles vandu tense a irukum digestion vandu kurava irukum sweat pandru en nanga sweat pandrom yaral solunga en nanga sweat pandrudu why are why do we sweat and what happens the sweating process somebody explain it to me you are all doctors and future psychologists what happens when we are sweating and what happens why do we sweat no i'll be very quick um because because of the time as well so sweating is like body is regulating temperature right because the with the fight or flight your body is producing lots of heat so the heat is going up because you, you know blood is being pumped so lots of things are happening in the body it's producing heat so the sweating is to regulate the temperature so cooling down system so you already have this system in your body isn't it yeah so that is what's happening with sweating so these are the symptoms you will find out with people with anxiety people with anxiety will have all these symptoms because the snake is not the snake it's an anxiety provoking event that is taking place a traumatic event anything that happens out of your um area of comfort will produce possibly produce a uh, fight or flight response in some people that could be your lecturer coming and saying have you done your homework did you do that exam time come and sit for your exam and that's it the fight or flight will kind of happen so the the, the it if it happens in a level that where you can cope actually it makes you alert and aware why does it make make you alert and aware i really like to hear that why it does make you slightly alert when it happens enough and not too much if it is too much yeah you will be hyper alert hyper alert is not good but slightly alert is good why you will be awake right you will wake up a bit if you are like this uh you know this is so boring and like that and you do something like that all of the sudden and you would awake and that's okay if it is enough but if it is like too much for an example with traumatic experiences and that's not just alert what happens there is a intense traumatic experience that kind of makes you hyper alert and hyper vigilance which doesn't go away even the trauma the event has passed does that make sense so for an example let's say ninga velila poringa irittu neram oral kathiyala vandu ungala payamurthi ungala panam thara solli kekkrar adu vandu ungalku udani adu vandu ninga alert aagiduvinga ella seivinga and alert todarum thirupi over irul berekla adhe bayam adhe idu vandu konde irukum illaya so that is hyper vigilance and hyper alert but this is just enough alert is okay to be kind of do certain things which might be good so let's move on to thoughts so ipidiyana ennangal adavadhu ipidiyana bhayangaramana ennangal varekla our thoughts could be like this i can't stand this it's unbearable it's better to not to be here i hate this feeling i must i must stop this feeling i must get rid of it it's not a snake adu paambu illa ana we still have these type of thoughts i can't bear it i cannot handle it i need to you know get rid of these feelings so that is ennangal idha ennal thaanga mudiyadu indha unarvai naan verukiren indha unarvai naan nirutha vendum apdi endu solli nadakkudu have you ever had something like that while you are growing up when the teacher comes with a little stick you think ah, that's a snake moment for us isn't it if that had happened to you while you were growing up it is it is like a snake moment but maybe culturally it's acceptable but it is evoking lots of fear 
for, for us. And there is a possibility, there might be palpitations and things like that. And this can happen when you are even talking to people, or maybe, you know, if you are, if you are seeing someone that you don't like, or if you're seeing someone who causes you anxiety and fear, that you might start to produce that level of stress hormones, fight or flight might happen when you are there. Okay, so let's look at the anxiety. So all this time we were talking about anxiety. What was going through your mind is like the worst possible scenario going to happen. I won't be able to cope with that. I am in danger. So the most core belief we say in terms of anxiety, core I am in danger. And the danger is or pambu apriklam or manisara hiriklam, alati umboda own feelings are clam. I'm in danger now. Apurda and the innam. Ninga sola mading I'm in danger now, but bayam in a kapaya marike apri yosipinga. A priana vishangal nadakum payatla anxiety, bodily sensations from the palpitations, breathing difficulties, dizziness, nauseous. Some people they feel like vomiting, stomach churn spanam. In the same way, avoiding people and places, going to certain places at certain times, going to certain, um, sorry, but use certain behaviors to cope, drinking, smoking, taking drugs, escape, leave early, not talking, keep quiet. Put your hands up. Snakes, I'm not a snake. Do I look like a snake? <laughs> no, I'm just a normal human being. Nana Mungala Madritan or a student I rinde Ninga Anabavicha, Kashtangalta, Nana Manavich, Padikir the Kavirpam, Birpamilla, Apri and Nangal Kuda in a Kwandi, Adakabrahda. I'm at this level, right? So there is nothing much difference between you and do. Maybe it's like, you know. Uh, Pre and post and a madhirikum. Model ningam adhikaprahanan and a madhirikum. So, but somehow you ningam will go by America and not a pace rather than syllabalela. I don't know. Syllabalela ninga this year a club. But that, that is anxiety situation. An anxiety situation can have a huge impact in your development, your career development, your medical profession, and everything else. And it is the noun what a talents. முடியும்ாட்டி <laughs> Any comments on um, anxiety? Tamil bandhi ninga paarenga bayam apdi irukkumen solli. Edhaadu comments solla virumbringla. Idhu vilangina da ungalku eppadi inda udal arigurigal unarvugal bayam eppadi thaakapadugrom ennu vilanguda? Sollunga konjam adha patti. Yes, Meera, if I may. Um, we were talking repeatedly about this uh, fight or flight, right? Yes. So, yes. Um, where does this freeze come in? I mean, I read in certain places they mentioned like fight, flight, freeze. So, yeah. um, how does that fit into it all? So freeze is the same thing. It is also trying to escape from the 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 problems that that you are escaping. So for an example, if you, if you watch animal programs, uh, let's say a tiger is chasing a deer and the deer is you know, running away because it's going to bite and it's going to eat the deer. So what happens is if it is too close, sometimes the deer collapse and freeze. And that's, it's like it's pretending that it is dead. So what happens is then there is a chance for escaping when you are freezing and when the deer is freezing and pretend it's be dead, the tiger will come and bite a little bit to see whether it is moving. And if it is not moving and it backs off, when it backs off, the deer comes and it shakes the body and it runs off. 
Does that make sense? So, so um, freeze. Mm. Yeah, so freeze is uh, a conscious choice. Is that so? I mean, nothing is conscious choice here. This is what I was trying to tell you. When in terms of whatever you are doing, so the prefrontal cortex, we will come back to it when we are talking about trauma. We will revisit this. Right. So this is the basics that we are giving. So the thing is like, it's not full conscious choice when we are doing fight or flight. Yeah, it is the body that is coming in because we have voluntary system and involuntary system in the body. And what happens here is that the, the, the fire alarm, which is amygdala takes over, that part of the brain takes over. So the rational thinking is not here because the prefrontal cortex is involved in the rational thinking, planning, organizing, and things like that. It backs off when there is a trauma event, when there is a fight or flight. So all the things that's happening is, it's, it's part of the survival mechanism. So the body almost like either if you can, you run off, you either pretend that you are dead. So, I mean, I'm going to say something. This might evoke some feelings within you. When rape happens, usually some women go into freeze mode. It's almost like they don't feel their body. It's almost like some people say they feel out of body experience because they need to escape and not feel the body uh, because it's the most dangerous kind of thing for the body to experience that kind of thing. So these are the things we will maybe talk about it when we, when we come to uh, later on in trauma. Because you are asking, and also childhood sexual abuse, which is so prevalent in, 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 in Sri Lanka, isn't it? So that I heard that there was a recent article about uh, the high levels of childhood sexual abuse that is going on. And that's exactly what the children does. Some, sometimes their body goes into a freeze kind of response because they, they are unable to take it. And, and then you know, that helps them to survive in some way because they are not actually experiencing what is happening. And, and we call disassociation and things like that. But that's a little bit more. We will come back to that. We are kind of covering basics. Is that okay, uh, Bhavana? Yeah, thank you, Mira. Did, did you understand that? Yeah, perfectly, yeah. Okay, great. So let's move on. So the, the psychology student, did you understand this bit, the Payam? Uh, sorry, Payam? Okay. So that's it's the same thing that Nana Batilikrin, Miha Mosamana Sul Nilai, Valia Selvade Tavir Pade, Vertical Tanguade, Adan Behaviors, Idea Tudipu Nadakam, Swasa Sikil, Nenji Valley, Viertel. Okay, so all these things will happen. Anger is very similar. So I don't want to put lots of uh, time in anger. It is a very similar kind of response, like fight or flight, right? Yeah, flight is more like anger response is more I'm going to fight. That kind of response is anger response. So the thoughts are I am being treated unfairly, I'm being disrespected, they are breaking a rule or standard, I won't stand for it, I must do something about it. Angry, frustrated, irritated. Palpitations, it's very similar, it's the same amygdala response. Uh, breathing changes, shaking, hot, sweating, lightheaded, and then the behaviors is like really staring and having this an anger, facial expressions, aggressive body postures, going towards what makes us angry and shouting, snapping at others, running or storming away, staying silent. So this happens quite quickly again, isn't it? Have you ever felt angry and regretted later? Oh gosh, I don't know why I did that. Sometimes you shout at your sister or something, then you feel sad. I shouldn't have done that. Have you done that? Do you know how quick we get angry? So is it conscious process, Bhavana? Is there some conscious process going on there? No. No, sometimes it's very no. unconscious, isn't it? Yeah. So sometimes we can be conscious about it. MBCT, mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, say that we can become very conscious about it. And that's the Eastern, that's the gift of Eastern philosophy. We might look at it later on, uh, so you can have an understanding about it. But certainly in CBT kind of thing, it's, it's very much, which happens quickly. And, and you are not aware, you're partially unconscious when these things are happening because the body takes over. The body is intelligent but the thinking process that happens later on 
when our ancestors were in hunting kind of stage where they were living in caves and things like that you know they don't need to think a lot they just go out they do all these things and they come back they eat their food and things like that but later on now it's the danger so before they will have to face lots of dangerous animals and they need to kind of deal with those things but now we don't have any dangerous animals what we have is lots of stress from external situation like work studying place medical school or you know whatever different schools that we are going into and you know relationships these are the dangers we have these days and we don't have anything like you know tigers or lions or snakes that are trying to eat us because more or less we are more civilized now aren't we we are at a place where that we have created ourselves homes we are pro we have a system we are protecting ourselves more or less that we don't have to be frightened of uh, insects and animals unless you are in sri lanka that you you might have some dangerous insects coming in but but uh, that most of the time you don't you don't think about it either because it's it's not a huge problem uh, but thoughts, feelings, behaviors are certainly our dangers these days. And stress is a problem. Okay, so let's move on. Um, so we looked at anger. So for the, for the, ta uh, the people who, you know, who are interested in Tamil, so it is Sarya, so Nuri Nir and Nanil spend Pana Virumbella, and so now the Kitata fight of anxiety Madritana. It's interesting, isn't it? Rendeme with Yasamana Unarchihal, Anna, and the process wow, Unger Udalikal and Akra process on this similar anger and anxiety. So actually, the people who are anxious, they get angry. Would you know that? <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting thing that we can maybe look at later on. Okay. So let's look at depression and low mood, which we already talked about, and Safan was really useful and you were helpful to understand uh, when we, you know, what happens when we go through depression. Usual depressive thoughts, everything is hopeless, nothing can change, I am useless, worthless, it's all my fault. The world is a terrible place, everything goes wrong, life is not worth living. And these are the core thoughts of depression. Life is not worth living, world is a terrible place, I am a failure. So that is Adipade enna mapri and soluam and the Nangal and the Nalla Uduri and the Udala Clare in the Chizan Sona, depression and the common. So let's look at it. We might feel frustrated, sad, low mood, depressed, tiredness, fatigue, lethargy, staying in bed, stop going to gym, not going to work, stop speaking to friends, family, not cleaning your house, not eating properly, not sleeping on time not going to sleep on time or ruminating. So I, I talked about ruminating and worrying and some people, you might think it's a feeling, it's not. Ruminating is, you know, thinking about the past and chewing and chewing and thinking. And that's a behavior because you do it for hours and hours. You can sit on a bed and you can kind of really do that. And worrying is the same. It's about worrying about future. Worries are very much like future. So, and that kind of goes through your mind over and over again, and you can lose many hours doing that. So we, we put them under behaviors. Okay, so let's look at the, for, for the Tamil, so in terms of the Tamil version of Soha. Do, do you see that? And so, Soham, Kutra Unaru, Avamanam, Manasur, Priyana Unarvahal Dhan, behaviors, Okay. Good. Any other question? Irka. Moon the primary emotions. Vande kawa panni irko. Any other question? Ungal ki irka. The petty. No. Sorry, it's just a wrong one. 
Okay, where are we now? Okay. எனக்கு கொஞ்சம் ஃபீட்பேக் சொல்லுங்க நாங்க முதல் வந்து நாங்க உங்களுக்கு பிப்டீன் மினிட்ஸ் இருக்குது ஐ திங்க் கொஞ்சம் ஃபீட்பேக் சொல்லுங்க உங்களுக்கு எப்படி விளங்கி இருக்கு எவ்வளவு விளங்கி இருக்குன்னு நீங்க ட்ரை பண்ணலாம் அதாவது கதைக்கிற கதைக்கிறதுக்கு கொஞ்சம் உங்களுக்கு கூச்சமாக ஷையா இருந்துச்சுதுன்னு சொன்னா நீங்க வந்து ட்ரை பண்ணுங்க சோ ஐ வுட் லைக் டு ஹியர் ஃப்ரம் அதர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எஸ் வெல் உங்களுக்கு விளங்குறதா எல்லாம் விளங்கினதா நாங்க ஏன் இந்த மூன்று பிரைமரி எமோஷன்ஸ பாத்துருக்கிறோம் அதாவது பிரைமரி எமோஷன்ஸ் வி டோக் அபவுட் அங்கர் அன்சைட்டி அண்ட் டிப்ரெஷன் ஏன்னு சொன்னா இந்த மூன்றும் முக்கியமான விடயங்கள் நாங்க வந்து டிசோர்டர் டிசோர்டர்ஸ பற்றி பார்க்க வரைக்கல சோ பிளீஸ் எனக்கு வந்து சொல்லுங்க உங்களுக்கு இது விளங்கி இருக்காண்ட அப்ப நான் மூவ் பண்ணலாம் மற்ற இடத்து மற்ற நாங்க சிபிடிய பத்தி பார்க்க எங்களோட தாட்ஸ் அதாவது எண்ணங்களும் எண்ணங்கள் வெளிப்படுற அந்த பிஹேவியர்ஸ்ல வந்து இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொடுக்கணும் டிசோர்டரா இருந்தாலும் அதற்கான சிகிச்சை முறையா இருந்தாலும் இந்த விஷயம் முக்கியங்கிறதால இந்த உணர்வுகளையும் அந்த பயம் சோகம் கோபம் போன்ற உணர்வுகள் வந்து எவ்வாறு உணர்வுகளையும் வெளிப்பட வெளிப்பாடுகளையும் வந்து வெளிப்படுத்தப்படுதுன்னு பாக்குறது முக்கியம் உதவி செய்ய போறீங்க நல்ல தமிழில அதனால வந்து ஐம் வெரி ஹாப்பி அதாவது வெரி குட் கோபிகா சோ கோபிகா வாஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் தட் ஹவ் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் வி ஸ்டடி ஃபீலிங்ஸ் बिकॉज देयर वाज वी आर जस्ट लुकिंग एट इट इन अ सुपरफिशियल लेवल रियली व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग विद पेशेंट्स यू वुड गो इवन फार मोर इनटू इट हाउ इट इज मैनिफेस्टिंग फॉर देम एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट बट वी लुक्ड एट द प्राइमरी इमोशंस बिकॉज दैट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी डायग्नोसिस और ऑफ एनी डिसऑर्डर्स एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट एंड थॉट्स फीलिंग्स behaviors and bodily sensations are very very important for us to understand and in that that behaviors are external observable we can look at it but the other things we cannot so therefore when we are sitting with clients we need to get hold of that when we are sitting with patients we need to understand that even whether it is a medical assessment whether it is a psychological assessment it's very important for us to have these understandings because some patients might say this is what i am suffering from but they might not be able to go into it, describe you fully so then you find it difficult to understand what that is so when you get hold of all areas then you wouldn't go wrong then you know oh yeah i know i know what it, this is about so how do we elicit thoughts feelings behavior eppadi naangal idha vande motivate irundhi ipo engada vande konjam engalukku theriyum okay engada feelings we know that what we are feeling well i'm not saying that we know not all the time because uh, bhavana was saying that she finds out after after 10 minutes 5 minutes fighting with her sister or brother and then she regrets and say oh i shouldn't have done it so we do sometimes we are not aware we are unaware what's going through our uh, mind and that's so true and then there's a possibility we become aware of it or we might not sometimes we hold grudge for lifetime have you seen experienced any family members completely not speaking to their brothers and sisters or whatever for lifetime and then some funeral or wedding or something happens and then they see each other and then they cry and they come together or oh, they never 
it's just strange, isn't it, as human beings, that we cannot have that space to come together. So the conflicts can last for lifetime, first generation, second generation, maybe, I don't know. So these are the things that sometimes we are not aware of what's going on. And if we are totally unaware, we can be kind of, really, we can relate ourselves to animals, isn't it? Animals are not unaware and they are, you know, but they, they are very good. They are very good in knowing certain things than us. For an example, uh, an animal will not accidentally eat a poisonous plant. We will, we might, children might. Uh, do that without, you know, they just put everything in their mouth, isn't it, to, to understand what that is. But the, 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 uh, a lamp will not do that. It wouldn't go accidentally eating, eating a poisonous plant because that kind of intelligence they have. So with this level of intelligence, it's extremely important that we have an understanding about our thought process, our feelings and behaviors. Not only that it is going to help us in terms of having rich relationships, in terms of relationship, that's what is most important because whether you are having patient, uh, you know, as a medical student or so psychology students, you might have a relationship which is very important, you know, so you can be with your patients and understand. But certainly when you are, you know, after a couple of years, when you are finished, when you, are, when you decided to get married or something, your relationship with your partner uh, is very important. And it's very important to understand what's going through your mind. Your relationship with the children are very important. The children needs to understand what's going on. And because of lots of problems that are in Sri Lanka or rest of the world even, that the things like childhood sexual abuse, domestic violence, alcohol, substance abuse, if we could get hold of these things, you know, it, it's easier for people to kind of overcome these issues and they will find better coping strategies, okay? So having said that, let's look at how we can ask these things. So this is in Tamil, situation, feelings, bodily sensations, behaviors, and our thoughts, right? So that, that's the full cycle. We call it a vicious cycle of depression, vicious cycle of anger, vicious cycle of um, fear. That's what we have been looking at. So we did the questions, but now let's look at it. How do we find out, even for ourselves? Because sometimes we are not aware. So how do we find out? Look at this question. Good questions versus bad question. How do we ask other people? So there's one called, why did you leave your job? The company got relocated and they didn't tell me where. Is that about how you answer your interview question? Why did you leave your last job? Maybe you might not be familiarized with it. Maybe you have done some jobs because as a student, I did lots of jobs. Uh, so, so here, um, I, I did different, different jobs. So I don't know whether you are doing any work at the same time uh, as well as you are studying, um, but here uh, in, the, in the UK or different uh, places here, you will kind of know all the students will be doing some part-time jobs. And as because they are supporting themselves, um, when they are 18, they are more like an adult here. The parents do support, but they have to support their living. So they, they will do more often, they would do part-time jobs. And that's how, you know, they survive. So if somebody asks, why did you leave the last job? If somebody answers like, oh, you know, the company relocated, I didn't know it. It's not going to get the job, would it? Is it a good question or bad answer? Is there something like that? You could ask your patient something and they would say completely something different. And how do you work with that? So therefore, it's very important to ask the right questions or good questions, then we can understand how we can learn from our questions, okay? In CBT, the questioning method is called Socratic questioning which I didn't put it there, but it is called in CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Psychotherapy, the questioning method itself is called Socratic questioning. So who is Socrates? Anyone know who Socrates is? So I'm just noticing the time. So do you, do you know who Socrates is? Who is he? The quick is better. We are going to end this session. So I'll go very quick now. Does anyone know Socrates? 
a Greek philosopher? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be quick. So he said the disciplined practice of thoughtful questioning enables the scholar, the student to examine ideas and be able to determine the validity of those ideas. So he is not like the maybe the Jaffna medical faculty where everything is will be displayed where you just sit there a blocked screen and you don't say anything, <laughs> you just go home. Nothing like that. Socrates was bad. He wouldn't answer. He wouldn't give any answer to his students. He just asked the question and he will send them off for weeks and they will be thinking and thinking and brooding and brooding and thinking they'll come back and they will tell him this is what I found out and he goes, hmm, why don't you go and do some more thinking? But he's good at asking the questions and they said the students themselves find out in their search they searched for answers and they found out. So how is the questioning? It's a disciplined questioning. So it's not random. It's not random. And this can be used to pursue thoughts in many directions and many purposes. You can explore complex ideas using this. Lots of people use this uh, questioning uh, type for, for research um, to get the truth of things, to get to the bottom of the things to open up issues and problems, to uncover assumptions, to distinguish what we know from what we don't know. This is what I know, this is what I don't know. I know this little, but I don't know a lot of things. In the universe, if you look at it, we are just nothing, a grain of sand even. If you go, you know, if you think about yourself like that bird perspective, like top from there, we, we don't look nothing. Even this small world is very, very tiny little world we are living in. And we would be like small, even smaller than an ant, like going around and doing things, isn't it? If you look at from the universal perspective. So we need to kind of distinguish from what we know what we don't know so questioning is very good and it, it has a logical kind of consequences so either tamil illa solunga quicker socrates was a philosopher greek philosopher avar vande oru naalume thannudaiya maanavargalukku padil kodukka maatar our poeme, curl we cut it, Angla and Pidua, or one week, two weeks, think panit, tripivanga. A poeme on the students than on the Padil Halavande, a Kandupurikana. A Pudiana curly held the one, the discipline, other than a Tamil Sulatriella in the Madriander, Anavandu, or the questions on the smile, Ella, random and Kurkurilla. Complex ideas of one they explore Panala. Unmea on the Kandu Pricker the Ki, or Pritchin in the Unmea on the Pricandu Pricker the assumptions, concepts, Alhalavande, examine Pandala, analyze Pandala. So, on the logical kind of thinking, other than the Kamala Solatari, logic, a prisoner than there. So, Tarkapurva Manas in the Nigger. Tarkapurva Manas in the Nigger. Thank you, Menaka. That's really lovely. Takapuna on a Sindhila, Sintana Hilavande, Edithu Ekra the Kaha, a pretty on the curl hill on the Saria Econom. A curl hill a pretty Econom, it has to be good. Only then we can do that. So we will quickly go through this. And the person in CBT who kind of did lots of research is Padisky, and she's the one who kind of said. Uh, about you know these things that she kind of understood after her analysis and research she said patient client knows the answer you don't know the answer they know the answer but they might not be able to give you the answer so you do need to help them and research with them like socrates did with his students maybe you answer them ask some questions they might go back and come back to you but it might take them time to answer, but that happens. Bring attention and support to the patient. Focus on the problem and relevant information. So, Patients on the thunder no cut there, thunder anxiety problem or depression problem, focus panni, other telivakra. Concrete to abstract. Concrete is like a concrete thing, isn't it? Like, for an example, children, they think in a concrete way. Other one, the right or yes or no answer, something like that. Whereas abstract is, other one, the explore. If a patient, one, the sonna, 
இப்ப பாவனா டாக்டரா ஆயிட்டாண்டு வாங்க டாக்டர் பாவனா எனக்கு வந்து நெஞ்சு வலியா இருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொன்னா கையில ஒரு நோ இருக்கு அத வந்து நீங்க வந்து unpick pannanum epdiyana no is it a pulling sensation it's a burning sensations what type of sensations is this adha abstract aakuradu okay so avanga kooda think pannuvaanga adha petti mudhal vande oru vishayatha summa sadharanama solliruvaanga idha ennude prachane adha neenga accept pannila adha enna ungalku treatment kudukkela adha neenga vande nuraiya kelvi kerpinga adukku piragu dhaan aa idhu dhaan prachane appadinu solluvinga so discover new information and re evaluate previous conclusions so முதல் ஒரு கன்க்ளூஷனா நீங்க வச்சிருந்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னா இதுதான் பிரச்சனைன்னு கேள்வி கேட்க கேட்க சில வழியில வேற புது இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் அதை நீங்க வந்து திருப்பி அவேலவேட் பண்ணுவீங்க சோ வாட் ஆர் தொஷன் இன் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஏரியாஸ் சிபிடி ஹூ வாட் வென் வேர் வாட் இஸ் கோயிங் த்ரூ யுவர் மைண்ட் தட்ஸ் தோட் கொஸ்டின் சோ வி கேனாட் ஜஸ்ட் திங்க் அபவுட் திஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் if i could take you as an example bhavana let's say that there is a, an issue that is happening let's say an argument with the sister or brother who is that it's my brother what happened i had an argument when two weeks ago where when i was at home and i wanted the chocolate bar but she was trying to grab it from me so that's a story you are telling about the situation that's what patients will do as well when you are asking about depression or whatever that is going on so what was going through your mind the thoughts i deserve this chocolate she shouldn't have it maybe what did you get in touch with anger i felt angry because i, I wanted that chocolate i wanted i told my parents to buy that but she got it before me so that you are feeling anger what did you notice in terms of your bodily sensations i felt some palpitations in my heart maybe tingling fingers how did you cope with that i shouted at her and grabbed the chocolate that's what i did that's the behavior right do you see that but if i don't ask these questions fully you might not get hold of all the aspects so the question has to be disciplined kind of questions it has to elicit thoughts feelings behavior in a what kind of way so this is in tamil and then we might talk about cultural aspects next week we will come back to it but we don't ask these questions in a random way we have to ask both clinician and therapist patient they have valuable contribution to bring to the therapy so they we need to trust the information so the relationship is important so we don't ask questions to bhavana come on bhavana tell me like that no we have to offer empathy understanding warmth when we are asking the question so there is gentleness to it showing act- acceptance and liking but within professional boundaries and confidence we have to be confident when we are asking the question so that is the interpersonal skills we will talk more and that's it so we are end for today any feedback before we leave i know we are slightly over 3 minutes over today but we we, we went quickly uh, to to kind of cover this because it's very important before we go on to specific individual uh, models so please ask me questions type or you can ask as well how do you want to do it do you want to type or do you want to speak to me here சொல்லுங்க உங்களோட ஃபீட்பேக் வந்து எப்படி இருந்துச்சு இன்றைக்கு விளங்கினதா உங்களோட நீட்ஸ் வந்து பூர்த்தி செய்யப்பட்டதா தமிழ்ல வந்து சொன்ன விஷயங்கள் இப்ப உங்களுக்கு விளங்கினதா பெற்றா இந்த வீக் வந்து லாஸ்ட் வீக்கை விட அடிப்படையான சில விஷயங்களை விளங்கி புரிஞ்சு கொண்டீங்களா டிட் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் சிபிடி த தோட்ஸ் ஃபீலிங்ஸ் பிஹேவியர்
the questioning style a little bit and becoming like detective to find out like socratic questionings so what a feedback type say the type pannunga allati neenga vande pesunga Okay, thank you for uh, for that. Um, anyone else want to say anything about in Tamil or English or any feedback? Very quick feedback. We will come back to it next week as well. But uh, maybe Bhavana or Zavan, you could you could kind of share as well. So Elias is saying yes, it's very useful and also it's easy to learn. It's easy way to learn. I'm so happy because learning should be easy. It shouldn't be hard. that's my belief system all my students uh, give me good feedback in terms of that they said like i didn't understand that this is this, you are making it so easy and uh, that's what i would like to do and i would really like to have your feedback if you find it's hard it's hard to understand i would like you to tell me likewise if you find anything hard to understand in terms of your medical lectures or psychological lectures i would really like you to go and tell your lecturers that it is hard and you didn't get it and it's very important don't be shy because you see that you really need to understand the information otherwise we will become like peter okay so any any feedback okay so very helpful easy to grab okay okay mira mira and kuprunga anu okay so thank you so much for today shall i shall we say nandri vanakkam okay so i'll see you next week next sunday and we will go a little bit more and ning ungalku vande edavathu theriyavanum nu sonna any specific disorders like trauma childhood sexual abuse domestic violence you have to tell me enada ennude plan anxiety disorders ungalku specific oreyadu disorders ungalku thevai nu sonna ninga enakku feedback tharanam meera idu solli thaanga adu solli appadi ketta tha solli tharven okay so thank you very much have a lovely lovely sunday okay bye so sambavi i think indik vandu naanga finish pannitom next sunday vandu pesaren thirupi okay so thank you very much um i'll see you next sunday nandri vanakkam